Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. So, today, we've already done what we're going to learn today. We've actually already done it a couple times, but we're going to implement it slightly different. We're going to change it up, um, and we're actually going to make a button that, top, that opens up a menu. Um, like, if you were to go to Sword Fighting Tournament, or you could open up the Sword Menu, or... Those are, that's the only game I can think of that it has what we're sort of going to do. But ours is going to be better. Um, because we're just that awesome, right? Alright, so let's go into our starter GUI and just get rid of this text button. Don't need it anymore. Uh, now let's add a frame and uh, put in the screen GUI, unlike I just did. And let's make the frame like, I don't know. Move it to point 0.1 by point 0.1 and make it point 0.5 by point 0.5. Now, today we're not going to get our menu completely done. We're going to work on it a lot this week. Uh, we're probably going to work on it tomorrow, probably Wednesday, and um, we might even be working on it Thursday because this menu is going to be really, really good. Okay, uh, today we're just going to get the basics of it done. We're just going to make it open and close. That's all we're going to do today. But we might add a little bit of an animation if we have time. But we're already almost at two minutes, so I sadly don't see that. But thank you guys for watching either way. Now let's add the text button. If I can get my mouse to work here. Text button. And uh, we'll just position this at like... 0.5 on the Y and uh, change it to be 0.1 by like 0.05. That works. Uh, let's just change it to Roblox button and let's change the frame because we're super duper lazy to be Roblox round. Uh, that way we can get through this quicker and actually get to the main part of the tutorial. And let's just put menu. And uh, let's make this frame invisible. And now we can put a script into our uh, text button. And script.parent.mouse button one click connect. Oops, connect function. Now let's just put our debounce in right away, like we did last tutorial on Friday. Been a while, hasn't it, guys? It's been too long to make videos it, it's been too long um if not debounce then debounce equals true as you guys remember that will help us to keep from glitching our script a little bit if the user is annoying and likes to click things a hundred thousand times set the debounce, uh, debounce back to false after we're done and now let's get to real work if script dot parent dot oops gotta capitalize parent parent dot text equals equals double equal sign if script dot parent dot text equals um let's see what a menu right now then and this is going to be the open function and and we'll just put a quick else in just in case close function um now, in the open area, let's just put script that parent that frame. Oops, not script that parent, but script that parent that parent that frame. Because if we go over to this explorer here, it's script that parent that parent that frame. Then go back over here, script that parent that parent that frame. Dot visible equals true, and let's change the script that parent that text to equal close and uh, we'll just copy and paste that down to here change it to false and change it to menu it's not the best script but we're already coming in on five minutes so let's just see if it really works at all I'm sorry if I don't seem like myself today I'm not feeling too great but uh, I'll be okay a nice job, Meta Knight 1896. Congratulations. If you're watching, I hope you are. I look like a guest. Okay. 
Um, let's press menu. Close. Menu, close. Menu, close. Let's click it 100,000 times. Alright, it's working great. Okay, until tomorrow, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.